I do hope you're ready right now and you're taking action appropriately because we are in the early stages of a full swing bull cycle that's going to continue for the rest of this year and most likely into 2025 as well. The catalyst for what we're seeing and what we're going to continue to see really was the approval of those Bitcoin ETFs. And we haven't been talking about it as much lately, but we should also remember that the Bitcoin halving, the BTC reward halving, that's coming up in just a few days from the time of this recording. That's why my team and I looked at a couple of coins that we think are going to do very, very well in this particular bull run. We've picked a few and they're all under $1. So psychologically, it's just nice. Market cap aside, it's just nice to be able to purchase multiple coins when you're making an investment. So again, all of these under $1. And like I said, the bull run has already started. There's no doubt about that, but we are still early. And that means that you still have a chance to position yourself now to get optimal exposure to all the hot projects that are going to peak in the next 12 to 18 months. Let's take a look at those altcoins. Welcome to the channel. My name is Matty and this is Altcoin Buzz. Best of luck to you if you choose to invest. You know, we're talking about the crypto bull run. Usually it runs anywhere from 12 to 18 months after the BTC having. That's coming up in about a week or so, 10 days from the time of this recording. I wish you well. I hope this is transformational for you authentically and genuinely, but whatever, right? Because I'm not a financial or investment advisor. So if you choose to invest, just remember, this video is not official financial or investment advice. At number one here, let's begin with one of our favorites in the space. That is one chain, ticker W-A-N. And really this is an old friend of ours as a project because it is the safest bridge in the crypto space, period. It has never been hacked. And if you think the team at OneChain is kicking back and taking a break, you could not be more wrong. They are active as ever, as any good project should be right now as we continue to sail through this bull run. This isn't hype. I'm not beating around the bush. In fact, I'm gonna kick off with some big news here. Just a couple of weeks ago, OneChain integrated with the base chain. Check out this coverage of that development if you haven't already seen this video. And the result is that it connects base with nine other networks. Those being Arbitrum, Avalanche, BNB Chain, Celo, Ethereum, Metis, Optimism, Polygon, and of course, OneChain. Currently, you can send ETH and USDC. Another thing that you may not know about OneChain is that besides tokens, you can also send NFTs with OneChain's bridge. And then another hugely important feature, of course, is OneChain's XFlows program. This allows you to send native assets cross chain. And they offer this service currently with four tokens, BTC, USDT, USDC, and ETH. The WAN token, again, WAN, has been on a pretty strong run. Its current price, as I record, sits just below 37 cents. It's up about 40% over the course of the last month and about 35% up over the course of the last year. It's been doing well, but this is only a $72 million market cap project. There is still a lot of room for upward price trajectory. So keep an eye on OneChain. This altcoin buzz spotlight is sponsored by Morpheus Labs. Morpheus Labs offers multi-chain, low-code solution for Web2 firms that want to enter Web3 markets. They provide you with a smooth and efficient way to get your Web3 presence, which of course comes with a full suite of tools that offer blockchain as a service ready to use and easy to deploy. Web2 firms can now easily transition from the ground up into a fully functioning Web3 project, including Morpheus AI powered automation and smart contracts. And the best place to buy their MIND token, M-I-N-D, is on KuCoin or M-E-X-C. For more information, just follow their Twitter and check out the link in the description below. My next pick here on this list of altcoins under $1 is Pith Network. Ticker, P-Y-T-H. This is an oracle. And these are important for the crypto space because blockchains cannot communicate with the real life world. They just can't, right? However, they do rely heavily on data from the real life world. So we have a conundrum here. And there are many examples of this dependence on the real world data, but an inability to communicate with it. So think of real time crypto prices or any asset prices, gold, silver, oil, whatever, sports results, weather forecasts. Uh, that's just off the top of my head, but you know, you have a near infinite number of examples here potentially. But coming back to Pith, they specialize in financial markets. So for example, foreign exchange, equities, crypto, other commodities. It's active on over 50 blockchains and covers close to 100 major market participants. Think of places like Jane Street, CBOE, Binance, OKX, or Bybit. It's built on Solana, but it's also active on other chains. It uses bridges, like for instance, Wormhole, and Pith Network provides real-time price feeds for Solana, but also other chains. Chains like most EVM chains, Cosmos Chains, Sui, as well as Near, N-E-A-R, and others. Compared to the biggest name in crypto oracles, which is, of course, Chainlink, Pith actually provides more updates per unit of time, so a higher frequency of updates, 
which gives Pith a pretty significant edge over Chainlink as far as that level, that metric of performance goes. The Pith token, PYTH, is hovering just below 79 cents. Over the past 30 days, it's gone up by about 40% or so. Considering that it was only launched back in November of 2023, so a few months ago, the price performance so far has been very good. It's already got a sizable market cap, $1.17 billion, but again, there's more room to grow here. Next up, and at number three on our list is Dopamine, ticker DOPE, D-O-P-E, which is a great ticker, by the way. This is a mobile crypto trading app on Solana. Very impressively, it already has 3.6 million users, and they hold around $20 billion in crypto assets in their non-custodial wallets. Dopamine is also compliant. Uh, some of its features include the fact that it offers a non-custodial wallet. Its built-in anti-money laundering services are also very impressive. There's cross-chain NFT transactions, easy fiat on-ramps, and integration of DeFi gaming as well. And you can track your portfolio with access to over 10,000 coins. And they have various products here that are worth highlighting as well. A crypto super app, that's for the pro, Dopamine TV for Web3 influencers, Dopamine Easy, that's for beginners, and Quants Infrastructure. This is AI and data science-based crypto predictions. The current price of Dope, that's again D-O-P-E, sits at about 10 and a half cents as I record. The project actually launched earlier this week, so uh, this market cap information is incomplete for that reason. It's still a little bit too early to determine specific metrics. However, Dope holders do get access to premium real-time trading signals. Keep an eye on this one. All right, moving right along to a big one here on the list. We're looking at number four, which is the graph, ticker GRT. It's a project, as you probably know, that's all about indexing blockchain data. Many, many, many times on this channel, uh, I've talked about DPIN, Cody's talked about DPIN, and the graph is really uh, a central pillar of this particular vertical of the DPIN narrative. The very simple fact is that human beings produce a lot of data, and here are some of the current samples and predictions. We create about 328.77 million terabytes of data per day. So in a year, uh, this year, for example, that's already approximately 120 zettabytes. And for 2025, we're looking at 181 zettabytes. So we're actually producing an increasing amount of data. The trend itself is growing. It is a number that increases every year. It shows no sign of relenting. And in DPIN, there are many protocols that handle data on different levels, of course. Uh, like I said, the graph indexes the data with so-called subgraphs. Let me try to explain how this works. First of all, you begin by creating a subgraph. With a GraphQL query, you can access these organized data with ease. Then you can load these data into an app. And the graph already supports over 50 networks, including test nets. And it offers three main products. The Subgraph Studio, where you can create, manage, and publish subgraphs and API keys. Graph Explorer, where you can explore subgraphs and interact with the protocol. And Hosted Service, where you can create and explore subgraphs on the hosted service. The price of GRT right now is sitting just below 34 cents or so. During the last year, the token is up something like 155%. Just keep in mind that there's still lots of room to grow because it's about 88% down from its all-time high, which was $2.84 in February of 2021. So we're still a seven or eight X away from uh, that high watermark. All right, and finally, last but not least on our list here, we're looking at Beam, B-E-A-M. And this is where we enter the blockchain gaming realm specifically. The organization behind Beam is Merit Circle, and they already had their own MC token. However, when they launched Beam with its Beam token, they decided to migrate their MC token. And the conversion ratio is that one MC gives you 100 Beam. And Beam's governance comes in the form of a DAO. It's integrated with Layer Zero, which offers easy transfers across chains. However, Beam is also an Avalanche subnet. And these subnets run separately from the main chain. They also have their own validator network. However, it also takes full advantage of the fast transactions and low fees that Avalanche offers. Beam also offers a couple of features and tools. So for example, we have the Beam SDK, a software development kit for developers, of course. We have a swap, an AMM that utilizes the Uniswap V2 protocol, a bridge, which is the layer zero bridge, and there's Sphere Marketplace, where you can buy and sell NFTs, an essential part, of course, in any blockchain gaming ecosystem. The native Beam token, B-E-A-M, powers the platform. And as I mentioned earlier, the MC token will migrate to Beam. You can do this up until the 26th of October this year. So October 26th, 2024. 
And since its launch in October of 2023, a few months ago, the Beam token has already done a 3X. And I would urge you not to underestimate the power of blockchain gaming. It's a sector that is gonna continue to grow and really by all estimations, by all accounts, continue to be one of the strongest crypto narratives in this bull run and beyond. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall.